Welcome to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest is Mitch O'Farrell. He is a candidate for the Los Angeles City Council. The district is currently held by Eric Garcetti, the man for which you have worked. Yes. Tell us about your tenure during uh, your time with Mr. Garcetti. Well, it was uh, a terrific 10 years, and I started back in 2002. Uh, after coming up from just community activism and volunteerism in my neighborhood of Glassell Park. Mm -hmm. Which is such a great neighborhood. It really has come into its own. It's pretty cool. I moved there right. in 1992. So Before, it was, cool. yeah. <laughs> Before it was well, cool. Yeah. Before it was cool. Well, I like to think that uh, myself and a lot of us volunteers you made were cool. part of, uh, you know, making that happen. So, <laughs> so right. after 10 years, you would think you would run from City Hall, but no, mm -hmm. you're running towards it. Yes. And it's time for you, in your mind, you want to serve your neighborhoods, your people. Why? I think that uh, we have a calling to serve, and, and once you get the bug of volunteerism and, and working to make your neighborhood better, and then, and then 10 years of experience of working in the district office myself um, has informed me in ways that, that I wouldn't have otherwise expected. I, I know where we've been, uh, I know where we are, and I have a pretty good indication of, of where we want to go. And, and you talk about it's a 13th district, right? Correct. Yeah, I mean, there are parts of that district which really have come back, but there are some parts that are still challenged. Yes. And so what do you do when looking to those neighborhoods that still are facing challenges? Right. Uh, the reason that some of our neighborhoods are still facing challenges is because we need economic development and jobs. That's, that's really one of the driving factors of me running for the seat. And I want to ask you about that because what I hear so often is a hue and cry, not from large corporations, but small businesses, right. saying they want to they want to open businesses in Los Angeles, but it's just so difficult mm -hmm. to get through the process, be it permitting, be it regulations. What's your sense of that? Well, if you look at the economy of scale, we have 322,000 small businesses in the city of Los Angeles, and arguably one fifteenth of those are in the 13th district. Arguably, there, right? There yes, are 15 council right. districts. So we know that three quarters of employees work at small businesses. Right. We need, to, we need to be more efficient at getting small businesses permitted to open more efficiently, more quickly. Uh, and we also, we, we need to get City Hall back in the business of serving our small business community because that, that has a direct consequence on all of our neighborhoods yeah. and employment and jobs. I'm aware that Anaheim, not a small city, about three, four, five 500,000, I can't remember the number, they have a concierge program for Wonderful. small businesses. Wonderful. And so there are cities that are really um, trying to compete directly with Los mm -hmm. Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time though, we know that Los Angeles is facing a tremendous budget deficit. It's gotten better, but it, there's still a deficit. Yet recently the voters of California rejected a sales tax increase. I should say the voters of Los Angeles mm -hmm. rejected a sales tax increase. Where do we go from here? I would argue that, that a large part of our budget deficit is because our system with dealing with our small business community is so completely broken that it's affected our revenue stream. So I can understand why the voters uh, decided not to approve um, uh, Prop A, uh, which is the half cent sales tax, because we just increased our own sales tax Prop last fall, mm -hmm. Prop 30. So, so I think that voters are telling us, city leaders, roll up our sleeves, do the hard work, make the tough decisions that are required to get our uh, budget back in balance, and then, and then grow our revenue, and, and they need us to do that. In our final moments, what are your voters saying to you? What are their hopes and dreams? What are their fears? Uh, they, constituents want to, to make sure that it's their vision that it, it gets realized for their community. They're mm -hmm. looking for a leader who has the context and understands our neighborhoods uh, and understands uh, the neighborhood's dreams and, and wishes. And I want to play a role in helping fulfill that. His name is Mitchell Farrell. He is running for Los Angeles City Council. The election is May 21st. Correct. I'm Brad Pomerantz. This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.